everyone, it's Julia. And I'm Alyssa. And we're Allergic in Wonderland. We're here today with a Main Street Mail unboxing, so we're so excited to get into it. Um, we do Disney content here, some allergy content as well, so if you like those types of videos, please like and subscribe. This is our first time getting a Main Street Mail box. There are two options, a $60 option and a $100 option, and this is the $100 option. We mm -hmm. wanted it to be similarly priced to our Bippity box so we could do some sort of comparison. And what I was really excited about with this box is that, that they have vintage items and a lot of small shop items. So in the preference sheet, it was a very long and extensive preference sheet. I definitely put that we were interested in some of the vintage or small shop items to kind of try something different from some of the other boxes that are out there. Some of the preferences, and you can help me out with these too, that we have are um, Onward, Moana, mm -hmm. um, Alice in Wonderland, some other ones. We like Decoms. Do you put Tangle? I don't think I put Tangle. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really do put Tangle. Uh, let's see what else. We like the Disney Parks a lot. Animal mm -hmm. Kingdom is um, one of our favorites. That pretty much covers it. We don't like villains, um, don't like too creepy things, and I know there's a few other films that I'm forgetting. Oh, uh, Hunchback, Notre Dame, Mulan, Tarzan. Do you say Up? Uh, yeah, yeah, I always put Up on there. So that's one of our favorites. I actually put um, the Volcano Short, too. Oh, I we love like that. I love the Volcano Short. Um, so those are our preferences, and we'll see how closely they're matched in our box. So let's get into it. It's a pretty big box. It's a little bit dented up, but that's okay. Um, it took a while for shipping. I was actually worried that it was lost, but it arrived. Uh, is it okay if I put it here? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cover the camera. So not super heavy, but it has some weight to it. So when you open it up, Oh, oh, we'll show that in a second. Um, there's some kind of colorful tissue paper, and there's this card, and we for, I forgot to say Lulu and Stitch, but I have that on our preferences mm -hmm. too. And it says, Julia, we hope you enjoy the items we've selected for you. Have a magical day. And so that's handwritten on the back here, which is I really like nice. this addition to the box. Yeah, I think this it's is- a hand-drawn, I believe. Ah! Uh, I think it is, because if you feel it, you can feel that it is. I think it's color, like watercolor pencil. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Well, it's something that we can hang up on our fridge, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I love it's it. It's really cute. Now we just need a Lilo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's start. There's a lot of packing bubbles. And we have our spoiler sheet. Okay, which, there's a few items in here. Do you want to start with a big one or a small one? Uh, do a small one. Okay, we're going to start with, this is the smallest one. It looks like a pin. Okay, it is a pin. Do you want to present it? Okay. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. So it says, please don't crush my soy nuts. Oh, I think you're not on camera. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Please don't crush my soy nuts. And on the back it says, thank you for your order. Show us how you style your pins by tagging us on Instagram. Wonderland oh, Supply Co. So that's a small shop, I guess? Yeah, it must be from a small shop. That's the back. That's cute. I love it. Yeah. So if you don't get the reference, um, that is from one of our favorite movies, actually. Uh, Princess Diaries. Yeah. Which yeah. I think it's like... Either just celebrated or is about to celebrate a 20 year anniversary. Because I remember so it came out that. when I was in kindergarten. Well, it's crazy because um, she, Anne Hathaway was like 19 when she did it. And she was so good in it. I know. That was one of her first roles, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Probably her very first role. Yeah. So we love it. I, um, I think this is so cute. I think it's so funny to see. She has great, I think, like, um, I don't know if it's dry comedy, but... Her humor in it, I think, is really mm -hmm. funny. Is this considered vintage? I'm not sure. Because it was... I don't know when it was made. It's like a little bit bent. That's what I'm It may be. I'm wondering if I don't it's know. vintage. We'll have to look up this company and, and see if they're around. Okay, do you want to do a bigger item now? Yeah. Okay. 
So this is a parks item. This is pretty cool. Oh, awesome. Oh, this is cool. So it looks like a monorail and I really like this. Mickey there. Yeah. That's cute. It's the monorail and it, it's a coat hanger or a key, key holder, hanger. something like that. And what's, it's like a blue, but like a speckled blue. It almost looks like an eggshell. Mm -hmm. uh, it's That's very... cute. That'll look really nice in the kids extra bedroom we have upstairs. Yeah. Okay, this is That's awesome. Really nice. and we could hang like bags on it too, maybe. Yeah. And they give you screws to hook it into the wall. This is from Baxter & Co. Handmade in Connecticut. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Because I like it's, it. It's, it's more, um, I like the small useful. shop type of thing. It's pretty cool. It's great. Okay, next item. Untie these. Oh, pretty cool. There's our park coasters. Oh, this is cool. So Epcot, what's the next one? Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. And Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. And I'll say this kind of, it's cool. like a granite slab. That's mm -hmm. what it feels and it like. it has the little... Sticky. Yeah, so it's a it's a good coaster. We actually have a cheese board that's made of the same material. So it look nice. Do you think this one's vintage or do you think? Probably not. You don't think so? Okay. Right. Well, it's definitely a small shop, I think. Okay. It didn't have a Disney packaging. But I like it. I like those too. And we definitely, I forgot what we also said on our preferences, is we liked home decor, useful kind of items. Mm -hmm. So everything so far fits into that. And then I also said absolutely no food um, because of the allergy issue. I didn't want to have anyone worry about <laughs> checking for allergies. Yeah. So, um, I always put that in our boxes. Okay, next item. Yeah, get the next item up. I messed this up. They package them very well in here. So it takes a few seconds to get them out. These. Okay, I think you're gonna like this one, Liz. What is it? See, this one is definitely a vintage item. Can I see? You can tell even kind of by the smell of it too. Wait, really? Well, Disney Productions, salad, fork, and spoon, which again is perfect. We love kitchen items, though I don't know if we'll necessarily use these. I don't these. think they eat. That's awesome. But. Wait, what's the sticker say on it on the side? Made in Japan. Huh. But these are really cool. I would say this feels like a 70s vibe to me. You think so? Oh my gosh, it smells old. Doesn't it? It has that old smell Yeah, to it has an old, old smell. That's I cool. really like these. We should find some way to display them in the kitchen. Yeah, or we could do it in our, we have a display cabinet mm -hmm. too. That would look nice too. And it's nice. So it has Mickey doing mm -hmm. like a salt and peppering a salad on that side. And what does it have on there? Same thing. Oh, same thing, mm -hmm. okay. Just in reverse. And you could definitely tell it's it's old because look at the back. I know this is so hard. It has a stain. I really wonder where they get these from. Like if they maybe find it on eBay or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. But it's pretty. They're really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Say really cool one more time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looks like we have one item. And I think it's a print. nice it looks like madame leota crossover with enchanted tiki room oh. it's okay you know, the birds are probably from the tiki room oh okay oh the tiki room in the in magic kingdom oh oh that ride that we did <laughs> no you're thinking um <laughs> jungle cruise yeah tiki room is a different attraction it's a bird show yeah oh no no that's what i was talking about oh, did we do it no, you showed me on it YouTube. That's why. So that's that's that. I think it's a it's a nice graphic design. Um, it's done by Jeff Granito, 
Jeff Granito Designs, which is pretty cool. I like that. And I mean, I'm not a fan of the Haunted Mansion, so I will say that. Um, and a Tiki Room and Haunted Mansion are not on our preferences, but I can see why they probably included it because Halloween's the next holiday coming up. And it's home decor. And it would be a nice kind of display item. Yeah, so we could always display that for Halloween. Okay, so that's all of our items. Do you want to do the packing slip or do you want to rate the box first? Do the packing, packing slip because I feel like that could influence how we our rate. decision. Okay. Okay, the coasters, $29.99. Utensils, $25. Pin, $8. Print, $20. And it says planter, but I'm assuming they mean the coat rack. $24. Wait, is, what's a planter? It would be something to put a plant in. So, wait, could this be used for... I don't think so. Planter. I think they just put the Maybe wrong. it is meant for something like that. Like, <laughs> no way. You put it in a plant? No. There's no way. It's a hoe? Like, for the plant? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it comes with... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. to put it in. I'm so confused. I think they just labeled it wrong. I think that's the most likely scenario. Okay. So the total box value is one oh six ninety nine, and okay. we paid a hundred for it. Okay, so you get seven dollars back. Seven dollars, which is around probably cost of shipping. So yeah, that makes sense. So I would say the coasters were nice. I liked the co. I liked everything a lot. I but, think they really kept with the preferences, yeah. with the exception of the print. But mm -hmm. everything else I thought was really spot on to what mm -hmm. we what we wanted and what we said. Yeah. So I loved it. I think that the the coasters were nice. I think they're a little expensive, but I guess everything is nowadays. Utensils, I think they were worth the twenty five, yeah, especially with the since vintage, they were vintage. The pin definitely worth eight dollars. Mm -hmm. The print, I think it's worth twenty, even if it wasn't our favorite. And I think that this may be a little bit expensive, but it's a really cool item. So I, I enjoy it. It does have that unique. Yeah, it's definitely it. unique. So, if you were comparing this to Bippity, what would you say? I think we rated Bippity 7. 7 out of 10? Yeah. I would give this a 7 or 8 out of 10. 7 or 8, so a little bit more? Yeah. I feel like we have to keep trying <laughs> and see what we get. Yeah. Um, I, I think it depends on the items that you choose mm -hmm. like what you're looking for like i think that bippities are great if you want to ask for a um designer item yeah a designer item or the what's the bags we have? have a lounge fly the lounge fly if you want a lounge well, fly i think they do that like with that. mainstream mail it's just that we asked for, for the vintage the, yeah oh, okay so i would say i really like i would give mainstream mail an eight an eight okay so, I think we have Main Street Mirror a little bit above Bippity right now, but we'll have to try it, it again. It could change. We'll have to try it again. Um, but that's it for this video. As you can see, we're wearing our wedding ears again. Um, our wedding is countdown. How many days now? Thursday, Four? Friday, Saturday. So, three days. Three days. Three days. Um, and then we'll have to take a break from the wedding ears for a little bit. Yeah. But we hope you have a great day and thank you for watching. Thanks. Take care. Bye.